next part to talk about is locations. Now, locations is a very interesting topic, and it's not to be confused with resources. Um, in some instances where customers might ask us, hey, do you guys support multiple locations? They might be referring to warehouse locations, or they might be referring to workstations um, where material and product are passing through. But in our case, in our case with Katana, this particular section inside of our settings page is referring to locations where we are physically having a physical location for our business. And um, this allows you to uh, create multiple places within your Katana instance or within your Katana manufacturing uh, platform where you're doing different types of operations. Many businesses have multiple locations for different reasons. They might have, let's say if you're a retail store, you might have three locations. You might sell your products from one of three different stores spread out across a city. Um, other cases might be that you have another location, which is a warehouse where you store stuff and just ship it out to your clients, which would be like a logistics warehouse, for example. And you have inventory that sits there that you own, which you have to track. Another instance would be maybe you have a manufacturing facility that you specifically own and you have to send goods between your manufacturing facility to another location, which would be the warehouse where you're storing it prior to dispatch. So there's a lot of different reasons why um, manufacturing companies need different locations. And it's usually coming down to one simple concept. Where do I track inventory that my business owns? So in the case of, let's say, our coffee manufacturer, we could have maybe two locations, one location, which is a warehouse where we store all of our finished goods. Um, could be like just a distribution company helping us out and their number one job is logistics and they send out our goods to different places. And then the other location, which is our main location, is a place where we do all of our manufacturing processes. And it could also be a place where maybe we're doing direct sales to our customers through our website. And there's so many different ways to, um, to, use, to use this because it helps you facilitate the different purposes of each of those locations. So to give you a general overview of how this looks, um, you can add all, multiple locations to this page. And um, by default, you have the main location, which has, which can't be edited, it can't be removed, for example. It's locked. You have to have at least one location in Katana. And, um, it's, and it has all of the enabled functions. And what do these enabled functions mean is they mean that, um, for example, if I add a separate location and let's say this is location two, I can turn off the ability to generate sales orders. I could turn off the ability to generate manufacturing orders. Uh, I can even turn off the ability to generate purchase orders. So this is what buy, make and sell represent. So a great example of this is if my location number two is a uh, fulfillment warehouse, and that fulfillment warehouse is only where I send out sales orders that are placed with my business, but I don't manufacture there and I don't issue purchase orders for materials to come there, then I'll just keep it only activated for sell. If my main location, uh, if I add another location and all I do is uh, manufacture there, but I don't sell from there, then I would turn off the sell option. Um, so there's many different ways where uh, this is used and these different um, stock locations, which they basically are, will be, ves will, will be available on your stock screen in Katana. And you can toggle between them and have a full track of where everything is located. And that's really the main purpose of it. Um, you can go in here and uh, provide a legal name for that specific location. And, and that's important for uh, anytime you have like official documents. Uh, for example, you have a location name, you'll have its legal name. For billing purposes, you might want to specify um, an invoice uh, for that legal name and also the address that it's associated with. 
you can add addresses directly to those locations um, and uh, and provide that information here which is is used for um, shipping shipping and stock transfers and and deliveries for example here in the below section these are the default locations for sales, for manufacturing, and for purchasing. And what these specify is that anytime you're going to generate, let's say, a sales order from the top up here, or manufacturing order or purchase order, then this specific location is the location where that stock movement is going to uh, correspond to that document um, when that document is generated. And this is where, when you make a, a quick add version of one of those three documents, it will automatically apply it to that specific location that you have set up here in your uh, Katana account. You can just as well delete your locations if you wish. Um, making that decision is a big decision, of course, because if you have quantities of stock there, those will get deleted. And that is something you need to be mindful of when you're using multiple locations in Katana.